Okay, so I think now we're getting into a time where it's going to be very easy to make money with altcoins. And you see here, in my other videos I was saying that when Bitcoin dominance goes below 50, then it's really easy to make profit with altcoins. That you'll be able to buy an altcoin and hold it for a month. Of course, you're going to have to do the research yourself and pick the right altcoins. So, it is now obviously over 50, but I can, like, uh, I think, I don't think Bitcoin is going to do very well recovering from this segwit to x nonsense, but let's have a look at Bitcoin. Uh, in my other video, I was saying that if we're broke past this line, uh, we're going to be definitely in the bear market, and lo and behold, uh, it bounced above what I was calling the danger zone, so if this is as low as it gets, oh yeah, I mean, whatever, like a, a month-long bear market is fine, and if you do, it's like, a lot of people have bought Bitcoin over when it was a, a higher price than it is now. Um, I'd say to you guys, you need to learn about price levels, stop losses, and then market indicators. And so you'll know when to buy, when you want to sell. And when you get a handle of those topics, then you move into altcoins, because the profit in altcoins is going to be multiples uh, of what you can earn in Bitcoin. So from today, what do I think Bitcoin is going to do? Uh, Bitcoin is going to go up. I have no idea how far it's going to go up. I mean, if it gets over this level, quite good. But uh, I, I, mean, I still think we're going to be in a Bitcoin bear market over the winter. And so, if you so if you want if you don't have Bitcoin, you want you're wondering now is a good time to get into Bitcoin. Well, buying Bitcoin now. For sure, you're going to make a profit over a month. For sure, for sure. And uh, if you think it's risky, and and you know, why don't you risk uh, whatever it is, six thousand dollars? Well, then don't buy a whole Bitcoin. Like, check the link below. I have a link there. You go to Coinbase. You buy a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin, and you get an extra ten. We both get ten dollars worth. Just buy a little bit of Bitcoin. Learn about price levels. Learn about stop losses. And when you get to a point where you're able to make a 10 to 20% gain every week, then boom, throw in a thousand, throw in 10,000, throw in whatever you can. You know, this is, this is a great way to earn a living. You get to learn how the financial markets work and you, you, you understand this global system that is making us poor. Uh, every 10 years, but I digress about that. Let's look at Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash, I mean, look, it went all the way, it went, went beyond half of Bitcoin at some point. And then it's had a, an epic pullback, obviously. And, um, Bitcoin Cash is supposed to be doing something today. It's still kind of in a downtrend. And I'm just kind of like apprehensive because I, I want to buy close to the bottom as possible. I mean, it's technically it's had two green, two green uh, hours. Still not particularly bullish, but I'm waiting for it to boom again over the week. Because it's supposed to be making an announcement today, so I say when the announcement comes, look, and easy. Like I mean, there's a risk resistance line there. You're talking about really making a fifty percent gain when that happens. Um, but again, it's risky. I mean, in the fifteen minute, it's on. It's it's on an uptrend. It's been on an uptrend for like a gradual. But like when I say gradual uptrend, like zero point seventeen to zero point twenty is pretty good. Like that's that's a pretty that's a pretty good chunk of profits more than 10 percent in two hours like if you make 10 percent of your money in two hours i mean you're good at trading so 
Um, looking at Monaro would be my favorite at the moment because if you look at say from every like every time it reaches a new all time high, it's like zero point zero one Bitcoin higher. So that percentage was a bigger jump. But this but the last time all time high, the previous one was four percent. So if you imagine that it's getting like look from zero point three to zero point zero three five I mean, saying 0.049 would be in line with the the proportions that goes up from all-time high to all-time high. Uh, so I'd say 0.02. Yeah, you could easily buy it and hold it for... Uh, buy and hold it for maybe two more weeks and possibly, possibly double your Bitcoin because of it. And I was saying in previous videos, so as it was going down here, I said, well, like, if it hits off this, that's a super good sign. Because, like, look, last time it reached uh, a mark above it, it went much higher. And so, it, so it's a good start. It's a good starting point. You know, like, do, 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 do. It is getting close to being oversold, so maybe, like, there's a possibility it won't go both sides, I think it will, but hey, that's what stop losses are for. Now, and look at the hourly. There's this line that it's kind of moving up and down in front, and I'm just, you know, it went before. I'm just waiting for it to burst through there. If it fails bursting through there again, um, I will move out and move into another altcoin. So it's just hitting off this line now. Um, if it goes down, it goes down. But uh, yeah, but still, I think Monaro is good for the next two weeks. US still looking good, man. It's still on an uptrend. But you know, it, it, it kind of it's quite risky because it's always like very close to being oversold. You know, I've been and I've been making these price levels for like two weeks now, so I have a very good idea when it jumps up and down. So I guess I've got another a new price level there to mark from, which is going to be. Called that a price level. Actually, no, let me see what that looks like in the three hours. Where is it? Yeah, I'll use the three hours. Because it's yeah, no, like that. That's the, there you go. That's the Price level, I think it's gonna bounce off. <laughs> like, for sure, I don't know when it's gonna start moving up again, but for sure, this week it's gonna be at least 20% higher. I mean, it made nearly a 40% jump this week, so that was a great call. Yeah, I'd wait for this to play out and see if it bounces off. See if it bounces off this again. Then, I'd, then I'd buy in around here. For but for people going buy and hold for a week, then um, you'd use the three hour candle. I owe, I owe it to. This is like the third time it's been this low. Um, I say you could probably buy and hold for a week. Oh, while well, the price of Bitcoin is going up today, so maybe. These are going to be weak buys. I want to buy a better time. But this is going to be a good, there is going to be a good buying opportunity today or tomorrow for IOT, I'd say. ATP, uh, look at that one. I mean, this is like, <laughs> this is clearly going to get back into an uptrend at some point like a, like it has one really good run goes down not as low as it's beginning neo is just like one of those coins that just makes me happy um 
like anyone who bought in this since the start of the autumn or the summer of the autumn is still in profit, but most people bought into Neo obviously have made a loss. And I really hope this is signaling a return to an uptrend. I really do, because it's a interesting company. Quantum is another one. Yeah, they're all having a bit of a pullback today, which is which is super. And you know, and then, we, then we have uh, Ethereum. It's it's going up and down the levels of was previously before it started its epic bull run last summer. So yeah, so I I think right now in this moment I'm looking at it. I mean, not a soup. Not, it's not the best time to be buying in, but in the evening might be different, and tomorrow might be different. But otherwise. So it's a good time to get into alts. And if you if you don't know much about altcoins, um, if you check my link below, use Bitfinex. Bitfinex, you trade altcoins against Bitcoin, dollars, and Ethereum. So that that's why I look at these specific coins there because they're all on Bit, Bitfinex, and they follow these really smooth, stable uh, movements. Whereas the altcoins that only trade against Bitcoin. Are clearly just did they just just move proportionally against Bitcoin? So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, check out my links to buy Bitcoin, get free Bitcoin, Bitfinex wallets, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Steamish. Live free or die trying.